Welcome to A Guide to Every Deck and Pioneer. Today we're looking at Grinning Ignis Combo. Grinning Ignis Combo is a combo deck built around the titular card Grinning Ignis, a 3 mana creature for which you can pay 1 mana to return it to your hand and add 3. This results in a net loss of 1 mana if you replay it, so the goal is to somehow reduce the cost of Grinning Ignis by 1, allowing you to cast and bounce it over and over, then find a way to win via the Ignis being cast or entering and leaving the battlefield infinitely. The first step is reducing the cost. Hazard's Monument is the best option since it reduces the cost of red creatures by 1 and, importantly, has a second ability that lets you rummage cards whenever you cast a creature, thus letting you filter through your entire deck until you find the win con. Alternatively, you can use Burgi or Runaway Steamkin. The front face of Burgi adds a single red mana whenever you cast a spell, thus offsetting the mana payment needed to bounce Ignis. Runaway Steamkin can be used instead since it triggers from casting Ignis, but this requires you to have two extra mana to bounce Ignis since Steamkin only generates three mana on the third cast. If you have Burgi or Steamkin instead of Monument, you can use Risen Reef as the source of card draw since Ignis is an elemental. Once you have Ignis plus Monument, Burgi, or Steamkin, you need a win con and there are a number of options. Devilish Valet can immediately attack for infinite damage since it has Trample, Haste, and its power doubles each time you play Ignis. Cards like Defiler of Instinct, Outpost Siege, Witty Roastmaster, and Perforos deal infinite damage. Lastly, there's Prosperous Innkeeper which, while it technically doesn't win, gains you infinite life, which many decks can't overcome, although some notable exceptions are Nykthos Ramp with its mill combo, Blue White Control with Teferi, Lotus Field with Approach of the Second Sun, and Fires with Kenrith. The rest of the deck is built around setting up the combo. The regular suite of 8 mana elves helps speed things up, as does Prosperous Innkeeper with its treasure token. Innkeeper's incidental life gain also helps buy a bit more time against aggro decks. Various creature tutors assist in finding the combo pieces, including Fauna Shaman, Eldritch Evolution, and Neoform. Finally, Collected Company is a great value card that can also stumble into the combo pieces. The deck can win on turn 3, but is more likely to win by turn 4 or 5. The deck's major weaknesses are that its game plan revolves entirely around mostly small creatures that die to most removal in the format, and that it has very few, if any, cards in the main deck that interact with the opponent, having to supplement itself with sideboard cards against decks like Grease Fang. On a positive note, however, the deck is decent at grinding with cards like Risen Reef, Coco, and the Horn backside of Burgi. Tips and Tricks even if you don't have the combo assembled, you can still use Grinning Ignis for value by triggering various creatures multiple times, including Risen Reef, Devilish Valet, Defiler of Instinct, and Prosperous Innkeeper. Similarly, Burgi and Runaway Steam can add mana, Burgi's backside generates card advantage, and Hazaret's Monument filters cards. If you're low on resources and can tutor for a creature with a card like Fauna Shaman or Eldritch Evolution, you may be better off searching for Risen Reef to recover your position. If you forego the few cards in the deck with double colored pips and their mana costs, such as Defiler of Instinct and Eldritch Evolution, you can run Gigantha as a companion. Like Nykthos Ramp and other such decks, you need a really good reason not to mulligan hands without mana dorks. Since Grinning Ignis ability is a mana ability, lock pieces that specifically exclude mana abilities such as Pithing Needle don't work on it. While Grinning Ignis itself can't be stopped by instant speed creature removal since it returns to your hand as part of the cost of its ability, thus denying your opponent an opportunity to respond, they can still target Burgi or Steamkin. This isn't the case, however, if you're using Hazret's Monument, although they can still interact if your payoff is a creature, but not if it's Outpost Siege. Also, Ignis ability has a sorcery speed activation clause, so your opponent can respond if anything triggers as a result of it entering. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Grinning Ignis Combo. My thanks to the community for their assistance with these decks. You can find additional resources, such as an up-to-date deck list, in the description. If you think I got something wrong, please share your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoy these videos, consider supporting the channel. And take care.